to finish off my description of uh, the first expeditions of relevance to ocean exploration, here are the polar expeditions by Fridtjof Nansen, okay, from 1893 to 1896, okay, on the boat, on a vessel called the Fram. So what Nansen wanted to do is he wanted to reach the North Pole in the Arctic Ocean. So we are now in the Northern Hemisphere. The Arctic Ocean is an ice, uh, has no continent, no land mass, it's just ocean and there is covered by ice. Okay? And the ice is permanent in, 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 in the central parts of that, but at the mar margins it's, it melts uh, during summertime and builds up again during winter time. And the idea that uh, that Nansen had is he wants to go there, let the vessel freeze into the ice at the beginning of winter and then drift with the ice and try to drift directly over the North Pole. And so the first expedition which is shown here starting in, in 1893, so I use the mouse, okay, starting over here, uh, uh, this is this uh, Siberian shelf, and came over to this area and where the vessel was embedded in the ice and then drifted, okay, and drifted and this is two years later coming up here but in the first cruise they actually failed to reach the North Pole. So they missed the North Pole and they had quite a hiccup but they had to go to Franz Josef Land to overwinter in, in, in this area and before returning back. So when they returned back to an area this is known as Svalbard or Spitsbergen and this is the main connection to the to the Greenland Sea and this area here, this passage is known as Fram Strait. This is the uh, uh, passage between the Arctic Ocean and the Greenland Sea. Okay, you can see Greenland, Greenland on this side. Okay, later on Nansen, a few years later, repeated the trip with a just slightly different starting point and managed to arrive at the North Pole. Okay, it was a successful passage in the end. So really crazy, crazy people, this guy. This is a group photo. The other relevance of this trip is that they actually had a plenty of time on their hands to watch the drift of icebergs. So they are frozen in the ice and they explored the nature around them and what they noticed is that the icebergs always drifted into a different direction compared to the wind direction. There is always a little bit slightly to the right compared to the wind direction. Actually not slightly, it's uh, more than 30 degrees, sometimes 40 degrees angle between the wind direction. And this actually led Ekman in a PhD work derive the Ekman theory which is uh, has very very important implications still nowadays it is uh, plays a fundamental role in the explanation of coastal upwelling for example the so-called Ekman drift theory and we come back to that later on so quite 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 famous and you can see on this photo they also had and animals indeed on these trips and uh, you know And I can ensure you that they, you know, they ate some animals, but definitely not this dog. So this was just for, as, as a friend.